Welcome to Exhibitor Lounge, sponsored by ExhibitEdge.com. I'm your host and your trade show mixologist, Michael Gray. Here each week you receive simple, practical, and proven tips to improve your trade show marketing strategy and get better results while maximizing your budget. Now it is a fact that at least 80% of leads are not followed up on after a trade show. One of the biggest reasons that I have figured out is that lead collection information is left to the badge reader or a business card and little information is captured after that. Over the course of a three-day show, it's easy to forget information about specific people and their needs, which leads to apathy for following up. I know, I've done it. You have a stack of business cards and you remember very little about each conversation. The leads go into a database, maybe, and there's no future after that except maybe a one-time generic email of information, which is the only attempt to touch base after the show. All right, well, there are two basic ideas that I can give you today about follow-up and ROI. First, have a way to ask qualifying questions using a pre-made form on a clipboard or an electronic pad. Now, I saw this done very effectively to gather unique information about each person. Yes, you can scan a badge also, but writing down unique elements of a conversation is critical. Ask for their permission to take notes while talking to them. Everyone will let you take notes if you ask. It is also easy to ask specific questions that get quick results, such as, do you make the buying decisions? If not, then who does? When people feel that you are going down a checklist of questions, then they tend to accommodate you more. Second, train your staff with a pre-show meeting. The questions and note-taking keep all salespeople on the same page for accurate follow-up. Keep these next thoughts in mind when selecting a customer and the questions. One, qualifying the people. Look at the name badges and understand what the different colors mean. Know who you are looking out for and make sure that everyone is keeping their eye out for specific people, government agencies, companies, or groups. Two, interview the person and ask qualifying questions. Have a good opening line such as, what are you looking for that has brought you to the show? Get information from the person before you start in explaining all your products and features. Three, dig deep into their needs. This is where you can add notes and be very personal during follow-up later on. Four, know their role in the company and network to get other names if necessary. You need to determine if they are the buyer who makes the purchase decisions? And if you determine that it's not that person, you need to talk to them. Can they be a good resource to get you to the person? Which brings me to the last point. Number five, commitment. Get a follow-up commitment from the person to set a meeting later with the proper contact. By doing this, you're not going in cold during any follow-up. Remember, it usually takes five to seven contacts for a person to feel comfortable to buy from you. So if you are just trying once or twice, then your success rate will be very low. Lastly, from a marketing perspective, make sure that you collect all leads and do not let the salespeople keep the original paperwork. Make it clear up front that all leads are turned in and put into a marketing database for follow-up. Now we'll discuss how to do that next week. As always, please respond with your questions or comments and let others know about ExhibitorLounge.com. We'll see you next week. Until then, I'm your host, Michael Gray, telling you, relax in the Exhibitor Lounge.